Right, so the cables have been cut to the right length and we've got a temporary number on. We've got a piece of heat, uh, clear heat shrink which we're going to put over the real number when that's fitted. And at the other end we've got part of the muser um, connected which is basically this part here ready to have the other part of the connector soldered on but that's a lot easier to do at the jackfield end and the cables actually held on with this o-ring here which is then squeezed on with a special tool okay. i'm just lining up the whole of the rear part connector which, which has got the cable attached to the front um, assembly and then there's a little screw that goes in very awkwardly that locks the two together and as luck would have it that's just gone in perfectly except the thread stripped <laughs> that's it that's fine yeah so now I can solder it up Nicely. and then I can attach the monitoring wire which needs a little bit of fettling to fit because it's not very nice cable I'm afraid it uh, melts as soon as you look at it even before you put the iron on it there we go so that, that just attaches on there beautiful then we arrange the cable to come out of the side of the cover and rotate the cover around. So, helm and sleeve, we just add a little bit of lubricant on there special pliers which stretch the sleeve and then you, by careful use of all fingers you slide it on line it up and then slide the tool out and there voila one sleeve and it, it basically protects the cable the exposed parts of the cable from oxygen so it keeps it airtight moisture particularly affects the ends of cables. One of the more important things in a vehicle, an essential thing really if you want to do anything in the maintenance department, is labelling. Uh, and uh, at this point we were going to label the output amplifiers for the matrix, so we'll have a look at those. Here are the output amplifiers and I think you can just about see that I've put um, uh, temporary labels on of what I think they do but these two are the outputs for the two commentators feeds two independent feeds so there are two independent amplifiers but uh, we were wondering at this point which was which it might sound silly but uh, it needs to be done the commentators monitors are controlled by a switch on the production secretary's desk and one of the three inputs is uh, reverse vision uh, and that's currently allocated to this socket here as an input so if I feed a test signal into it we can see the waveform appear on the oscilloscope 
and I'm looking at the output of commentator 2. So we know that bit's working, but we still don't know which one of these it is. It could be either one of them. So we're going to take the scope probe with the little dangly adapter on the end and measure the output of that one. And I'll transfer the other end of the scope probe onto the oscilloscope. And then we can see what we're looking at. Turn up the scope gain and there's nothing there. So perhaps that is not COM2. Maybe this one is COM2. And there is the trace identifying this top amplifier as uh, COM2. So now we know where to put the label. A small thing, but you can imagine if there was a problem in the heat of the moment and you wanted to change it and you pulled the wrong one out, there'd be a lot of shouting. Uh, so here we have a label. Originally these would have been uh, uh, professionally printed onto the face of the matrix um, but we haven't got the resources of a large industrial firm like Pi so we're having to make do with small adhesive labels, um, transparent ones, uh, provided by a famous label manufacturing company which I'm sure you can google. Anyway we're going to stick that on there. Well we're going to stick it on there the right way up. Get the scope for so it's going to go just there. Uh, so in order to achieve that I've got to get the backing the backing tape off. I like to put a screwdriver on there and let it stick to the screwdriver rather than my finger because the screwdriver won't leave a fingerprint and that's got it off and then I can offer that up I'm going to have to change camera angles and go on the other side I'm sorry about that I'm going to get it in the right place like that there we are I'm pleased with that it's moderately straight and it's in the right place <laughs> 